We will record the similarities in the intersection between the two circles. باستخدام مخطط شكل فن الموجود في الكتاب المكان المشترك بين الدائرتين هنسجل فيه التشابهات. In these two parts, we will write the different traits between the human and the plant. I will show you an example for the first part of the text to make it easy for you to complete the rest. We will focus on the part in your book. You can also use your science textbook. First sentence says, human and plants both need energy and gases from the air to survive and grow. Of course, this is a common trait between humans and plants. We will record this trait in the intersection between the two circles. أو الجزء الخاص بالتشابهات. The type of the nutrients that provides energy for the body, glucose. So, the glucose is a type of sugar and is another common trait between them. Let's identify the different parts. تعالوا نحدد الاختلافات. They are, through the photosynthesis process, plants can make their own food. But human must eat food. And the digestive system digests, absorb, and transport food to blood. Blood then transports it to all body parts to get energy. We will record this also in the Venn diagram. Photosynthesis for food making in plants, the digestive system, and the blood in humans. For getting gases in plants, Gases enter through holes in the leaves. For human, air enters the body through nose, mouth, and lungs, and then travels through blood. The diagram will help us to organize similarities and differences in an easy way and also new. Now, it's your turn to analyze the rest of, of it in your textbook. You need to identify the human body parts that transport nutrients and oxygen. هنقرأ الجزء الثاني من النص عشان نحدد أجزاء الجسم الإنسان اللي بتنقل العناصر الغذائية والأكسجين. Surely, we observe diagrams while reading, so let's check on the board. We all noticed this diagram while reading. It shows the human body. These tubes are vessels in our body. We heard the word vessels. When we talked about the xylem in the plant, we always use vessels to transport through nutrients and oxygen to all body cells. This red color, we call it arteries. So we learn from the text that arteries carry blood from the uh, rich with nutrients and oxygen from the heart to different body parts and cells to help the body grow and heal. And the blue color are veins, أو الأوردة. We can observe them clearly in our hands or arms. We can observe their color tends to be blue. They return the blood from all the cells back to the heart to recharge it with nutrients and oxygen. We can conclude that the blood in the human body moves in one direction, in the veins and arteries, and the heart is the main organ that pumps the blood into all the vessels. Now, let's compare the process of transporting nutrients in human to plants through the transportational system of plants, the gram. Or 
جهاز النقل في النبات. Have a closer look at the plant. It absorbs water and nutrients from the soil and it carries them through the xylem, through the stem and then to the leaves. When leaves perform photosynthesis and manufacture food, which is sugar and glucose, this food moves from the phloem in the leaves and transport it to all plant parts. It also moves in one direction, from the bottom to the top, xylem, and from top to bottom in the phloem. Now you can record the most important similarities and differences between the parts of plants and humans. In the Venn diagram in your book, تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن.